Temperatures are dropping pretty quickly now that the sun is set and we're going to continue dropping into the 20s overnight. It's already 43 in Athens, 41 in Blue Ridge and 36 degrees in Altamont. So these temperatures are going to continue to come down. So if you have any plans to maybe go out, check out some Christmas lights, do some last minute shopping, you're going to want to bundle up because temperatures are going to drop from here into early Sunday morning. Here's a look at Skywatcher reports. We had 47 in Red Bank, 42 atop Lookout Mountain, 53 in Sunny Daisy. We had 51 down in Somerville in Chattooga County and across the rest of the Tennessee Valley temperatures generally range anywhere from I would say the mid to upper 40s with a few spots hitting 50 degrees. Overall, it was a chilly day, pretty close to average for this time of the year, but things they're going to change as we move into next week. Now for your Sunday, more sunshine. Enjoy that because we haven't had a ton of sunny days this month and then going into Monday. That's when we're going to be tracking our first storm system of the week. Now, most of the model guidance puts this pretty far to our south. Most of the heavier rains going to be into portions of Louisiana, Mississippi. But as we go through the day on Monday, a few showers may try to sneak up into north of Georgia, maybe even along the Tennessee line. And by Monday night, temperatures may just be cold enough for a few snow flurries, uh, but pretty low in chance of that happening. Not going to be impactful at all. And then throughout the day on Tuesday, we could have a couple of showers. Of course, the best chance of precipitation early in the week is going to be across north Georgia and north Alabama. And then Wednesday, we're kind of going to have the calm before the storm. And as we go into your Thursday, we're going to be tracking a pretty strong system. This is going to bring in some very, very cold air, some of the coldest air we've had here in the Tennessee Valley in quite some time. It's also going to bring the chance for maybe a little bit of snow on the back edge of this. Now it's going to be one of those scenarios where the cold air is going to be chasing the moisture and typically we don't have too much in the way of snow in the valley when this happens, but some of the higher elevations especially could have that transition occur as we go into the overnight hours Thursday into Friday. With that being said, we'll probably still have a couple of flakes flying around here in the valley, but you know, as far as accumulations, it's still a little bit too early to tell, but there certainly will be the potential for a little bit of snow flying around especially Friday morning as the system starts to pull off to the north and east. So we're going to track that out pretty closely, but the big story is going to be the Arctic chill that's going to be left behind after this moisture pulls out. In fact, during the day on Friday, we could have wind chill values right around zero. Going to be some very serious chill, but as far as the snow potential, here's kind of what we know so far. Now the precipitation Thursday is going to begin as rain, but there will be that transition to snow at some point, likely early Friday morning. So after midnight on Thursday and then bitterly cold air is going to follow. That is basically a lock at this point. But what we don't know, some of the variables variables that we're still working out is the exact track, the transition uh, from rain to snow and will the valley even have snow? Again, sometimes these systems can be very complicated and the specific impact. So we'll continue to keep you updated as we get, you know, and in the next couple of days, we'll get more agreements with the models. And of course, we'll continue to update the forecast, but it's certainly something we're going to watch closely. But like I mentioned earlier, the bitterly cold air is going to arrive no matter what. Here's the temperature outlook through Christmas. So hopefully Santa's bringing you some heavy jackets, some warm hats, because you're going to need it all as we move into Christmas weekend. Here's a look at your morning temperatures again. Friday, we're going to be waking up to the teens. Higher elevations likely going to drop into the single digits. And then on Saturday morning, which is Christmas Eve morning, 12 degrees, very, very cold air, about 20, 25 degrees below normal for this time of the year. And here's a look at some of your future cast wind chills. Again, after the storm system kind of exits off to the north and east, the wind's going to pick up. We could have gusts, you know, over 30 miles per hour. So those wind chill values could potentially be below zero, especially in some of the higher elevations. This may be overdone a little bit, but still it is going to be very, very cold. So if you don't have to be outside during the day on Friday, even into Saturday, it might be a pretty good idea to stay inside. You also want to go ahead and start making those cold weather preparations. If you have friends or family that may not have sufficient heating, go ahead and start working those plans out because look at the high on Friday. We're talking 24 degrees overnight lows, maybe in the single digits. And then Saturday we warm up a little bit, but still going to be below freezing. So Cornelius, some very cold air on the way as we move into Christmas weekend.